Hello and welcome to the 3D Mechanical Design channel. I am mechanical designer and I've been creating with SolidWorks for more than 20 years. Today we're kicking off our series by creating a bearing housing, a perfect project for learning foundational skills. If this sounds cool, hit the like button, leave a comment, or just join the conversation. I'll drop a link to the 3D model in the description. Got an idea for what we should design next? Let me know below. I'd love to hear it. Ready? Let's jump right in. Today, we'll begin the process of designing a sleeve bearing housing assembly as seen in many industrial applications. The main structure features a robust wall mountable housing. The assembly is closed with a cover plate, engineered with a threaded access hole to accommodate a grease fitting and secured by two bolts. At the heart of this design is the sleeve bearing itself, specified for an internal diameter of 70 mm to ensure reliable rotation and load support. In this session, our focus will be on modeling the housing components step-by-step -step using SolidWorks. Begin by selecting the front plane to initiate your sketch. Refer to the drawing at the bottom right corner where the red arrow identifies the active dimensions for each step. Sketch a 90 mm diameter circle. Draw a horizontal center line along the center of the circle. Add two horizontal lines on the left and right sides of this line. Apply dimensions of 100 mm and 110 mm to define the body geometry, ensuring each value aligns with the drawing. Continue adjusting the geometry of the case according to the drawing and add a flange to the right side. Establish an equal relation between the two horizontal flange lines, then apply a 23 millimeters. For the flange, dimension the distance from the center to the bottom edge as 150 mm. With a full vertical size of 270 mm. Define the lower characteristics of the body using a width of 65 mm from which the inclined line extends. Complete the profile by sketching the remaining lines and dimensions. To connect an inclined line to a horizontal line, employ the three-point arc tool, enforcing tangent relations on both ends of the arc. Confirm the slope of this connecting segment remains five degrees. At this point, the sketch is fully defined. 
Proceed by removing unnecessary lines using the trim tool, specifically deleting the upper segment of the initial circle. With the sketch cleaned and defined, you are now ready to advance to the next step. Initiate the body by using the extruded boss base tool. Set the extrusion direction to mid-plane and specify a total width of 80 mm before confirming the feature. Next, select the body's main plane and begin a new sketch to cut out the lower section as outlined in the reference drawing. Use the Convert Entities tool to project critical geometry onto the sketch. Select the top two lines and the circle segment, then utilize the Offset Entities tool with a 20 mm offset parameter. Redefine the top lines as construction geometry to keep them from affecting the solid. Add additional lines to fully enclose the profile so the cut body can be defined. Apply the extruded cut tool to remove material, setting a cut depth of 20 millimeters. To replicate the cut feature on the opposite side, select the Mirror tool. Set the Mirror Plane as the front plane and indicate the previously created cut extrude as the feature to be mirrored. Next apply fillets in accordance with the technical drawing setting the respective radii to 10 mm and 20 mm on the specified edges. Let's continue. We need to add two threaded holes using the hole wizard tool. Select straight tap and set the parameters for an M16 thread. Position the first hole 78 mm from the center and the second hole 156.5 mm from the center to the center of the holes. Click OK.
Next, we need to finish the flange and add the mounting holes. I will continue but I want to remind you, please, if you enjoyed the video, please support it by leaving a comment, liking it and checking the description for a link to download the model. If you have an idea for the next tutorial, feel free to suggest a part or assembly that could be the focus of a future video. Thank you for watching my video.